Do you ever wonder why you keep finding yourself in toxic relationships? Do narcissistic people seem magnetically drawn to you? Well, it's an enigma that bewilders many, but there are some common threads that weave this intricate tapestry of attraction. One of these is low self-esteem. A lack of self-confidence can make the charm and charisma of narcissistic individuals incredibly alluring. Another factor is fear of abandonment. This fear can keep you tethered to toxic relationships, as the demanding nature of narcissists can make you feel that stepping out of line might lead to isolation. Then there's codependency, where the need to be needed becomes a magnet for the attention-seeking narcissist. And finally, a lack of boundaries can make you an easy target for manipulation, a game at which narcissists are often experts. These are but a few pieces of the puzzle. There are many other factors at play. Understanding the root cause is the first step towards breaking this cycle. Let's delve deeper. Low self-esteem can make you an easy target for narcissistic individuals. Now let's delve into why that is. When you're grappling with low self-esteem, you may find yourself drawn to confident, charismatic individuals and narcissists. Well, they often fit the bill. They can be charming, persuasive, and have a knack for saying all the right things. This charm, however, is nothing more than a facade, a carefully crafted persona designed to lure you in. Narcissists are skilled at exploiting insecurities, and if you're battling feelings of unworthiness, you become an easy target. They'll shower you with attention and flattery, making you feel special, but this attention is often fleeting and conditional. It's a ploy to maintain control, to keep you second-guessing your worth and dependent on their validation. So, it's crucial to remember that your worth isn't defined by anyone else's opinion or treatment of you. But remember the charm is just a facade and it's your right to feel good about yourself. Fear of being alone can keep us tethered to toxic relationships. It's a fear that's as old as humanity itself. The fear of abandonment. This fear can make us tolerate behavior that we otherwise wouldn't, especially from narcissists. You see, narcissists are experts at manipulation, often using control and demands to keep their partners close. They create an environment of dependency, making their partners believe that they cannot survive or thrive without them. This feeds into our innate fear of being alone, making us feel like we need to constantly please them, to walk on eggshells, to avoid triggering their wrath or worse, abandonment. But here's the thing, living in constant fear of abandonment is not healthy. It's a form of emotional bondage that can drain us of our self-esteem and happiness. It's important to remember that being alone is not synonymous with being lonely. There's a world of difference between being alone and feeling lonely. Walking on eggshells isn't a substitute for genuine companionship. Do you feel a sense of purpose when you're needed? This could be a sign of codependency. Codependency is a behavioral condition in a relationship where one person enables another person's addiction, poor mental health, immaturity, irresponsibility, or underachievement. It's a relationship dynamic that can become a quagmire, especially when it involves narcissists. You see, narcissists have a knack for being needy and attention-seeking, and codependents often find fulfillment in meeting these needs. The codependent person may feel a sense of purpose and satisfaction from being indispensable to the narcissist's needs. This dynamic creates a symbiotic relationship where the narcissist becomes the center of the codependent's universe. The codependent nurtures and gives, while the narcissist takes and takes, creating an unbalanced and unhealthy relationship. However, it's crucial to understand that being needed isn't the same as being valued. Being truly valued in a relationship means that your well-being, thoughts, feelings and needs are also considered and respected not just your ability to cater to someone else's needs. Having difficulty setting boundaries, this could be why you're attracting narcissists. Boundaries are essential in every relationship. They serve as a guideline of what is acceptable and what isn't. They help us maintain our sense of self while coexisting with others. However, if you struggle with setting limits, you may find yourself a target for narcissistic individuals. Narcissists by nature are manipulative and exploitative. They are always on the lookout for individuals who can be easily influenced or controlled. When you have weak or undefined boundaries, you become an easy target. You may find yourself giving in to their demands, tolerating their disrespect, or even accepting their abusive behavior. 
all in the name of preserving the relationship. But remember, a relationship without boundaries is like a ship without a captain. It's bound to crash sooner or later. Setting boundaries is not about being selfish or unkind. It's about respecting and asserting your worth. So take a stand, set your boundaries, and don't let anyone cross them. Setting boundaries is part of asserting your worth. Now that we've uncovered the psychological reasons, how can we break this cycle? The first step is to trust your gut. Your instincts are your most powerful tool for discerning the truth. When something feels off, it usually is. Don't ignore the little voice that whispers caution. Pay attention to red flags like manipulative behavior, excessive flattery, or the constant need for attention. Next, it's crucial to set boundaries. Boundaries are the invisible barriers that protect your personal space, both physically and emotionally. They define what is acceptable and unacceptable behavior from others. It's about communicating your needs and expectations clearly. It's about standing up for yourself and saying no when necessary. Remember, setting boundaries is not about being difficult. It's about respecting your own worth and ensuring others do the same. Finally, don't be afraid to walk away. If a relationship is draining more energy than it provides, it's okay to let it go. It's okay to choose your mental health over a relationship that is not working. Walking away from a toxic relationship is not a sign of weakness, but a testament to your strength and self-respect. It's important to note, breaking the cycle of attracting narcissists and toxic relationships can be complex and challenging. It's not something you have to do alone. Seeking help from a therapist or counselor can be incredibly beneficial. These professionals can help you understand why you might be attracted to narcissistic partners, and they can provide you with the tools and strategies to develop healthier coping mechanisms. Breaking the cycle is about reclaiming your power. It's about recognizing your worth and refusing to settle for less. It's about cultivating self-love and self-respect and demanding the same from those around you. It's about understanding that you are deserving of a relationship that is healthy, supportive, and respectful. Remember, you deserve a relationship that is healthy, supportive, and respectful. It's time to break the cycle.